Dad. Daddy. Yes. Yes, my son. Grandpa told me a story. It was a story about two people <coughs> who were trying to get a mask from a yellow box to save themselves from a disease. It was so interesting. And Grandpa told that this story was fictional. Have Grandpa told you such stories? <coughs> Your Grandpa and his stories. <laughs> yes, he has told me such stories when I was young. Now, let me tell you a story which I think is far more interesting than the story what Grandpa told you. It can be real or fictional. Well, uh, this might sound a bit uh, complicated. Right, now look at this wall and try to pictureize everything that I'm about to say. Long, long time ago, there were a specific type of creatures which had one leg, hundreds of fans and thousands of fingers, just like us. The color of their legs was similar to our skin and their fingers were similar to the color of your jersey. Sun. These artificial clouds which we used to keep the floor wet in our PCA back in those days. And also the feces of this little fish which we used to generate oxygen was not there too. Everything was natural. And these creatures that I told you about were the ones who provided oxygen to all the living beings. They were free from these machines and masks. Not only that, they were helpful for us and to the world in many, many ways. <sighs> well, son, they used to say that these creatures were the most valuable things that was to be seen. But none understood their value for long gone. The worst part was how mankind were the ones who destroyed them. I know you look uh, confused. Well, remember I told you to picturize whatever I am about to say. So now, try to draw it. It may not be the exact image of the creature. Just give it a shot. Whoa, Dad, now that's a story. Well, doesn't those creatures have a name? Of course, they had a name. They were called trees.